Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about the Nintendo Entertainment System action set I purchased back in 1988 while I was working at Zero Department Store. Um, it was really hot back then and since I worked at Zero Department Store I was able to get a day one. Um, I think I paid $109.99 for it. I don't know if that showed up or not, but box is in pretty good shape. I keep good care of all my systems and, and cases and boxes and there's the back. There's the side. And then the front again. And it has the gray zapper. Um, I think 1989 they changed to the orange zapper because the gun law has changed here in the States. I'm not sure if that was worldwide, but it was 1989, I think it was the orange one. So I just wanted to open this up, take a look at a few things in here, and then I'm gonna go to all my games I have. So I have all, both original controllers. I never replaced any. Um, they look pretty good. You can see some wear, and we wore these out, but they still feel good. Got the power brick, the cables, and the zapper gun, gray zapper gun. Works like a charm. It's been many, many years since I've done anything with this. And I got the console itself, which has yellowed on the front some. Got my Mega Man sticker on it. Door's good. Button's good. And it did yellow, only on the front, because I had it in an entertainment system facing outward, so... The sun probably got to it a little bit. There's the back. Bottom. That's that. I also had the NES 4 score for when we played four player games, and that is yellowed too quite a bit. I'm going to try cleaning it up to see if I can get any of that off, but I don't think it's going to work too good. All these buttons were good. And of course, big thing back then was the NES cleaning kit. Still in the box. Used it plenty. So that's it for the system. I'm going to get my games out now and go through the games to show you those. Um, I think I have 109 of them. So we'll get into that next. I'm back with my Nintendo 8-Bit Games box, which I have boxed up and have had them boxed up for many years because of room. As you can see behind me, I have all these movies as well. And I have a lot of movies. <laughs> so I'm going to go through all these games, show you what I have, and let you see. I'm not sure the best way to do this, but let's see. Gauntlet. Vindicators. These are all Tengen. Super Sprint. Shinobi. Rolling Thunder. I love the artwork on these. Afterburner. Mega Man, original. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 4. 
The Legend of Zelda. And The Adventures of Link. Double Dragon. Double Dragon 2. Double Dragon 3. Wizards and Warriors. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Wizards and Warrior 3. Crystallis. Man, some of these cartridges have some weird colors on them. DuckTales. Skate or Die. Gosh, I remember playing that so much. Skate or Die 2. Adventure Island. Adventure Island 2. Pretty much in order so far. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Teensy Surf Design. Remember playing that a lot too. Cobra Triangle. Lunar Pool. These are pretty dusty. Blades of Steel. Love that game. High Speed Pinball. Major League Baseball. Ivan Stewart's Off-Road. Played that a bunch. Along with this one, Tecmo Super Bowl. And then Tecmo Super Bowl. So it's Tecmo Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl. NES Open Golf, which was fun. Ultimate Basketball. Some of these I don't remember too well. It's been so long. And I haven't looked at my list out that much. Legendary Wings. Heavy Barrel. Rad Racer. Track and Field 2. Double Dribble. Love that game. Super Spike V-Ball. Another great one. Zexis, or Zexes, I don't know how you pronounce that, but Ventures of Bayou Billy, Mylan's Secret Castle, fun one, Dragon Spirit, how can you not love Excite Bike, RC Pro-Am, Mendel Palace. Zevius. Jackal. Strider. WrestleMania. Eight Eyes. I remember finishing that one. Rider. 
I think I finished that one too. Operation Wolf. I know I finished this one, Star Tropics. Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And ooh, Friday the 13th. Batman. Return of the Joker, Batman. Battle Toads. Astinox. I think that one was good. Can't remember. Whoops. For some reason I got the pamphlets in with these. Don't know why. Deadly Towers. One of my favorite movies of all time. Goonies 2. Well, the movies are the Goonies, but the games is Goonies 2. Ice Hockey. The Battle of Olympus. And I did finish that one. Why do I have the... Man, these are dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. NFL football. Jordan vs. Bird. Akari Warriors, two. How do you say that? Zybernoid? I don't remember that one. Now these two. Cases. And these are dusty. Codename Viper. Power Blade. G.I. Joe. Kid Icarus. Another favorite of mine. I think I finished this one. Along with finishing Metroid. Great game. Dino Riki. Predator. Dusty. Guerrilla War. Legacy of the Wizard. The Guardian Legend. Dr. Mario. Fun. And Tetris right by it. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. That was good. Little Nemo Dream Master. That's a hard game. I liked it though. True. What is this name? Shahrazad. Shahrazad. Blaster Master. Bionic Commando. Fax Xanadu. One more container to go. There's some good ones here. Castlevania. K 
Castlevania, Simon's Quest. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. And this is what came in my NES Action Set package was Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario 2. And a great game, Super Mario 3. Contra, which I finished. It's on my YouTube channel. Super C is the next one I'm going to be working on. Ninja Gaiden. Love that game. Ninja Gaiden 2. And as the dust is flying around, Ninja Gaiden 3. Love the Ninja Gaiden series. Gauntlet 2. I don't remember if I like Gauntlet 1, the original Gauntlet, or this Gauntlet 2 better. I'm not sure. Of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles 2, arcade game. Iron Tank. Robocop. I don't know if people like these sleeves, but I always kept mine and I always kept them in the sleeves. I like them. Karnov. I remember liking this, but I can't remember if I finished it. Last but not least, Street Fighter 2010. So that's all the games. I do have all the boxes, and I have the cellophane on the boxes, and the prices, which I'm going to make a whole other video on that, but here's all my game boxes with the prices. I'm going to make a separate video on that with all the prices added up at the end to show you how much I paid for all these games back in the 80s and early 90s. So that's the video today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and watch for my video on my game boxes. Thanks for watching.